as I was saying, let me continue. Revelation chapter 22. Verse 2. In the midst of the street of it, and on the other either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. His servants, the people who do his will, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they, they need no candle, not the light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which most shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I John saw these things, and I heard them. And when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. And thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. Worship God. Worship God. There's only one God, and his son is Jesus Christ. And he said to me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according to according as his work shall be. Every man according to his work shall be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do that do his commandments. Let me say that. Blessed is they that do his commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whores. He said it again. Who's not going to make it into the city? Sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Now watch what he say here. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come and let him that heareth say, come and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. This book. If any man shall add unto these things. That's why I tell everybody, don't read no other books. I feel for the, the Mormon church. You understand? I feel for any book, any church that read out of any other book besides this book. If any man shall add it to these things, God shall add it to him the plagues that are written in this book. No other book, people. I told you, if I say it, I've read it, and I know what God says. If God took the books away from me, he's trying to take every book out of your hand. Any other book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book of his prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The truth will set you free. You understand, people. I don't do this because I hate the world. I do this because I love the world because my father loved the world too. And I do this because the truth will set you free. I do this because I'm a follower of Christ. I do this because he tells me to do it. He do, I do it because he tells everybody else to do it. You understand? Jesus tells you what's not going to make it there. You know, Jesus died for our sins for us not to sin no more. He died for a reason. He gave us those commandments for us to live by him. He gave us work to do for us to walk in the works that God gave us to do. Trust God and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. The more you seek God, the more he's going to tell you the truth that's in this right here. What they say? The Holy Bible. No other book. Throw the rest away. Get rid of them. 
You better find your one now before they start taking this book away from you. You understand? You better study now so the spirit is in you. You understand? If you're a father during this time period, stay prayed up. Get into that word with your children. If you're a mother, a single mother, whatever, get grounded in the faith. Don't let hypocrisy lead you down to hell. Don't let the, what the world teaches you. Jesus said he didn't come to bring peace but division. He's trying to divide the real from the fake. Make sure you're not a faker. Be real with this. I didn't come to be a coward. God called me to do exactly what his will is. If his will is to call you a hypocrite, that's what I'm going to call you. He said, judge what I just read to you in regards to Luke. You understand? Let me tell y'all something one more time. And I'm going to end with that. What did he say in Luke? What did he say? You understand? Let me find it before I can push it on there for you. But you know the truth, people. Love the truth. Love the truth. Seek the truth. And God will give you the truth. He'll give it to you. Well, anyway, it's already in here. Even if I can't find it, I done gave it to y'all already. You understand? I done gave it to y'all already. You already got it. Watch the video again. But he said, you can judge things that are right in the eyes of the Lord. You understand? Don't be afraid. Sometimes rebuke saves souls. Sometimes compassion saves souls. If you want God to use you, stop trying to be a people pleaser. Stop trying to be seen from men. Stop trying to tell people that God is okay with sin and he's not. You understand? I hope this word touched everybody in a special way. Lord Jesus, I thank you for allowing me to bring forth this word. If anybody want to give their life to God, Lord Jesus, give them the strength to go into their closet and to go into wherever they are and pray to you and accept you in their life, Lord Jesus. I thank you for everything that you do. Continue to watch over your children. Continue to allow me to bring forth word for your, for your kingdom, Lord Jesus, to spread seed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a blessed afternoon, people.